Hi, this is Kate and Kate Art with DNA 2.0. We're here to tell you about our CRISPR-Cas9 guide RNA design tool. We will do a quick demo to show you how easy, fast, and effective our guide RNA design tool is. For more information on how CRISPR works, CRISPR products, CRISPR services, please visit us at www.dna20.com slash CRISPR. And as always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us at info at dna20.com. In order to use our guide RNA design tool, you can visit our homepage and we have links to our CRISPR-Cas9 products. If you're under products, there's CRISPR-Cas9. Uh, once you're taken to the Cas9 products page, you'll see links to the guide RNA design tool. Click on that, it takes us to the tool. There are three ways to enter an input for designing targets here. Um, and all of them eventually lead to designing. Once you have your guide sequences, you can design a plasmid or order a plasmid in which to put these guide RNAs. If you already have your own guide RNA, you can skip all of the design steps and go straight to the uh, I have my own guide RNA tab, and that will take you straight to our vectors. So to design guide RNA, there are three ways to input uh, your target. One is to target a gene in a specific genome. The other is to target a specific genomic region in a specific genome, where you would give the uh, chromosomal coordinates. And the third way is to input a sequence of interest, and this can belong to a genome or be some extraneous sequence that you put in. I'll show you for the purpose of the demo, if you're targeting a gene of interest, in a specific host. We have three hosts loaded right now. We have human, mouse, and yeast. Let's say we're targeting the human genome. The PAM sequence here, the, the Cas9 protein we are using is the S pyogeny sequence, so it works with the NGG PAM. It also can work with limited efficiency with the NAG PAM, so if you require more flexibility, you can use NGG or NAG PAMs to find target sequences. But know that with the NAG PAM, you may have slightly lower editing efficiencies. Uh, our tool supports both the wild type Cas9 as well as the Nikase mutant. You can use the Nikase mutant with the offset guide RNA pairs that this tool will design for you. We recommend the Nikase strategy because it, cre it reduces the op uh, opportunities for off target effects. Uh, I'll show you a demo with the wild type Cas9, so it will be a single guide RNA that gets designed with a gene of interest. If you load the genome of interest, you can quickly enter a gene name and auto-completes the rest of it. So you choose a gene. If you select search only the first exon, it will only find guide RNA sites in the first exon that is common to all the splice variants for this gene. That is important if you're trying to knock out the gene because targeting the first exon and creating a frame shift in the first exon will maximize the chances of creating a functional gene knockout. Once I've selected the gene, you say search, and you'll see that the results are almost instantaneous. Um, so this makes it very efficient and fast if you're designing multiple targets for multiple genes. We show the top three hits up front, and then if you want to see more hits, these are ranked in order of how well they score on our target specificity score. The, the most highly scoring ones have the highest um, chances or the best chance of not having off target effects. So the top three are shown here. If you want to see more, you can click on show more and it shows you many more matches. Hovering over a particular row tells you where it's going to cut in the gene or in the exon of, that's being shown there. So in this example, we're seeing exon one for all five splice variants of this gene. The number one is listed on the left side tells you which exon it is. It shows you that when I hover over the first guide RNA, you see it's cutting towards the uh, five prime end of that gene. This is a little bit further down. So you can choose your guide RNAs based on the specificity score and where they cut. If you uh, are satisfied with the automated calls, the top three ones, you can just, just hit continue without having to see more results. If you hit continue, once you're satisfied with the guides you see, uh, you can design um, design these to go into a plasmid of interest. So we offer a lot of different vectors. If you watch our video or go to our web page and look at our product offerings, you'll see a lot of different vectors for the different hosts that we offer on this tool. 
and you can choose vectors with different uh, promoters driving Cas9 or different reporters such as GFP or RFP to, to detect Cas9 expression. Once you're satisfied and you can choose your vector of interest, you can quickly select the plasmid you want these to go into. These show up here uh, using our auto select and filtering. You can pick which vector features you want and it narrows the list for you based on you know, what E. coli marker or copy number you want, but also the promoter driving Cas9, whether you want a reporter or not, and it narrows down the uh, number of available options. Once you find the vector you want, you select it, it gets added for all of these, and you can quickly add to cart and proceed from there to um, buy your gene of interest. And also, one convenient feature we offer is we can also generate these for you in an endo-free MIDI prep where you get a large quantity that's ready for transfection, so you can focus on your research, not with the details of making these plasmids. Um, so if you click on this bar, it's an optional field. You can pick the ones you want to be transfection ready, and you can go straight to add to cart and buy these products from us. Thank you for your attention.